go home. Still today, but I thought her chances of getting in were pretty good. Huggy, stop playing games. This isn't funny. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Oh, don't look all butthurt. Hell, I want to thank the cat, because you look just like the kind of guy who could help me out. Name's Harper. Used to be a night runner a few lifetimes ago, it seems. And while this city has gone straight to hell, that don't mean I gave up being its guardian angel. And right now, we got us a problem. It's called electricity. Where everyone else sees a brave new world, I see the end of the world. I've been paying attention. Suddenly, all these new infected are popping up. You ask me, it's because of the electricity. Of course, it's only a hunch right now, but if I had tissue samples from the infected, but I could figure out what's up with all these new ones. I've got some setup to do here. You think you can help me by collecting the tissue samples I need? And I'm talking fresh meat, my friend. We're safe. We made it. Do you hear? Interested in anything in particular? Don't push yourself too hard. I need you alive to bring back those samples. Now, watch yourself out there, you hear? You're heading the game. Better not go out there if it's not. Let's see if we can make a deal here. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. How in the blue blazes did Renegades get all the way here? I tell you, Some Matt is not doing well today. Cut the briefing short yesterday. He looked like he'd been bombing. Container detected.
Luan, I'm nearing Culvert Island. Great. Frank sorted out, so I'm on my way. If you get Ro to tell you where the terminal is, let me know. You'll find your sister, I'll find the missing names of assholes for my kill list. Everyone will be happy. Except the people you shoot. They won't be in any condition to care. Butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. <sighs> Alamed all over it.
shouldn't submit to PK's fight. What happened at the bazaar sets the right example. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Rowe. And I'm Rowe when Rowe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? W what do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The renegades sent a whole detachment to the fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? And just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. I'm not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Easy there, civilian. <laughs> we are armless. Old men and women? All the youngsters have already joined the PK. <sighs> Luan, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fish eye. They've got their camps, but Butcher hasn't attacked the fish eye since never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so no fucking clue what's going on in his head. Hey, the Butcher, tell me more about him. The Colonel. He's the leader of the renegades. He gave the order to doubt the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Walt's program? <sighs> More or less. Your parents? Remember them? No. I just remember the hospital. Pain. And the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. Is that why you're looking for her? She's the only family you got left? Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there's a rotten egg.
If not for that... What happened? I'm a pauper, brought low by my own family. Who? Yes, my own flesh and blood have brought me to this dreadful state. My own kith and kin. How can they be so unreasoning? So beguiled by phantasms? Woe betide them, woe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? My papa, my dear papa, departed this veil of tears a month ago, and his siblings, my loathsome aunts and uncles, I spit at them, went mad with grief. They traveled dark paths and found an infected with the power to raise the dead. Ever since, they've been offering valuables to the creature, beseeching it to bring back my dear departed papa. And what does this have to do with your poverty? It is all Papa's valuables they've taken to use as their offerings. When I tried to stop them, they threw me out of the house. I'll have nothing left. Only memories of Papa and a gaping hole in my heart. I'd go to that altar myself, retrieve his belongings, but I'm a frail man. But you, you seem like a stout fellow. Perhaps you'd go there and retrieve his treasures for me. Well, if it means so much to you, I can try. Ah, oh, lion-hearted. I will reward you a hundredfold. They make offerings in the evenings, so you have to go there under the cover of night. You'll find his belongings in willow-lined chests. You can wait here for the sun to descend from the sky. I'll be waiting for you in my crib on Lower Dam Air on the garrison. The entrance is near the old hotel, by the canal. Farewell. E farewell.
everything.
stand there and watch me turn. My wife would have killed me if I turned. <coughs> Thanks. Serves you right, you bastard! You almost got my brother killed. I didn't mean for him to get hurt. But he did, because of you. Stop conning others to run your dangerous errands. If I so much as get a whiff, you pull this on anyone else, I'm turning you in. Hey, who are you? Another one of this fool's errand boys? Whatever, I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of here. What's going on here? What was he talking about? Uh, you see, before the fall, uh, I was an actor, not even a good one. Oh, bereft of a stage, I, I took my craft to the streets and became a con artist. But not a very good one of those either, because I'm still quite poor. Everything you said about your father, your family? Yeah, it was a lie. I had to convince you to retrieve those valuables for me. The legend of the creature is real. Well, as real as the bandits who invented it to trick people into offering up their valuables. They come by later and collect them. I didn't dare go there myself and risk them catching me. So I figured I'd have someone else go. I'm a greedy, lazy bastard. What do you want from me? Well, at least you're honest about one thing. I try. Sometimes. Like, now. You survived the ordeal. Keep the spoils for your trouble. As for me, the curtain's going down. Oh. Oh. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles. And by opposing, in them. To die. To sleep. No more. And by a sleep to say we end. The heartache. And? Well? Um, well, if you had a day job, I say not to quit it. Ugh. <sighs> 
Thank you. 